I have a lot of Build-A-Bears, mostly frogs, but I've got some Sanrio ones up there too. And I love them, don't get me wrong. They're all absolutely adorable, but they're kind of missing something, which is cute crochet outfits. Duh. I know that's exactly what you were thinking. I was thinking the same thing. Like, well, this is a problem. We need to fix this. Today, I'm embarking on a new journey. A journey to clothe every single one of my build bears in a unique and adorable crochet outfit. Finally, some of them can stop committing public indecency by being naked all the time. Looking at you. This is our first contestant, my purple frog build bear and I absolutely love her. Her name is Costco Pizza. Yes, Costco spelled with a capital C. Okay, put some respect on Miss Costco Pizza's name, okay? She needs a cute new outfit, and I was thinking with Valentine's Day coming up, we can do something super cutesy, very pink, fun, frilly, things with hearts, stuff like that is kind of what sprang to mind for Miss Costco Pizza here. So let's get into this. We're gonna hop on over to the most elite design and drawing program that exists on this earth, which is good old MS Paint, and I'm gonna quickly design something for our little Costco Pizza Build-A-Bear frog. Now, I am no artist whatsoever, so don't judge be too hard but like I said I wanted to do something very pink very lovey-dovey and lots of hearts of course so this was my initial thought and idea to have this little top with hearts all over it, a big one in the middle and a little frilly collar at the top but then I was like wait she can't just have a top she needs some bottoms too I thought shorts or pants or anything like that wouldn't really fit the the aesthetic and the theme so we're gonna go with a skirt and we're gonna put some stripes on there too moving on to supplies a big goal of mine this year is to use up a lot of the yarn that I have in my hoard slash stash in my closet. My closet's a mess, I know, but over here on the right in this corner, all of these bins are yarn. Yeah, all of this is yarn and I do not crochet nearly enough, at least at this current point in time, to use up all of this anytime soon. So we're going to try to get rid of some of it. I'm just rummaging through here and seeing what matches. This light pink was definitely a match for what I had in Emma's paint. And then I also found this Karen Simply Soft in the very top and this matches our dark pink. So here's our supplies. We've got our two yarn colors and of course a hook. I'm using a size J slash six millimeter hook. I've got a yarn needle and of course some scissors as well, not pictured, but we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into it. So I actually do have a pattern for this design. It's for the little sweater that I'm going to make her and for the skirt. So I'm gonna leave that linked in the description. I'm kind of trying a new thing here where I'm gonna, I don't know, maybe release some crochet patterns this year. I really want to get back into crocheting. This has been like my main hobby since I was 15 and I used to love writing patterns so, so much. I have so many still saved in my google docs so who knows maybe one day i'll share those with you but at least for now i want to try to you know give back and give you guys something give you some free patterns if you are a crocheter i know it's kind of a weird mix i usually do gaming and animal crossing and plushie videos but hey you know i just like to do whatever i want on this channel so this is this is part of it <laughs> but anyways we're starting off here just by making the sweater and i've got this little strip going so once we have this little strip i'm gonna work in little small separated sections in order to create some holes like in the middle of this thing to be our armholes. So as you can see here, we've got this little chunk and then I'm going to count a couple of stitches over, counting five stitches, and then we're gonna put our yarn um, skipping these stitches. So we're gonna create a little gap. Again, these will be our armholes. But yeah, check out the pattern for this in the link below if you're curious. Um, this is definitely a more... I don't know if it's super advanced, but like you gotta know how to read crochet patterns for sure. You gotta know crochet terminology and be comfortable with everything that you're seeing here. If you're looking at this and you're like, yeah, I can probably do this and you know how to read crochet patterns, then you're probably good. But as you can see, we are working on another big chunk of a section and then I'm just working on the final little mini section. And there we go, we've, we've got our armholes. I kind of skipped a couple steps here, um, but basically then we continue working over the holes that we made and we just make like a big rectangle with these two armholes in it. That's that's really the gist of what we're doing. <laughs> so right now I'm just going in and I'm crocheting around those holes and we're making the sleeves. Update, I just finished the first sleeve. So here's how we're looking. It looks real cute. So yeah, I just have the other sleeve to do. It's so funny how like this hole looks so small, but like the sleeve looks so much bigger <laughs> in comparison. I promise it's the same, same sized hole, I swear, but yeah, there we go. There's the first sleeve. I also noticed a little bit too late that I left the seam right here, which is going to be visible on the Build-A-Bear. Usually I like to have the seam in the back so you don't see it, but 
Honestly, I, I don't think it's that noticeable. Like, I'm sure it's fine. Like, does anyone really care that much? I hope not. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna finish up this other sleeve and then I'll check back in with you. The other sleeve is done. And this is looking kind of funky. I think because I decided to make it cropped, I left off, I think like a row or two on the bottom. So this just looks like silly, <laughs> but I think it'll be fine. Also, I have a helper kind of. He's upset at me right now because I won't let him lick the whipped cream off of my milkshake. Um, yeah, he's he's really mad that I won't let him do that, as you can see. Also, I have magically lost the nail polish off of both of my thumbs. Uh, well, this one was not magical. I picked this one off, but this one was- I literally just noticed that it's gone, so sorry about that. It's, uh, it's part of the design. No thumbs, no thumbs. Anyway, let's see how this looks on the Build-A-Bear. I think we need a test. I need you really quick. I hope you don't mind. Obviously, I still have to weave in the ends and everything, but I just want to check the croppedness, make sure that that's looking good. Okay, so unfortunately, there has been a mistake um, that is much too late for me to correct now. I accidentally did an extra row right at the very top, which is the very beginning. So it's like very bunched up here. Like there's a lot of extra fabric compared to my like test one that I did. And in my pattern, I have that amount of rows that I did here, like listed on the pattern. But when I go back to my tester one that I made, um, it doesn't have that many rows. So I guess I messed up and put an extra line or an extra row for me to do. So it kind of looks like she's wearing a turtleneck, which normally I would be fine with. Like, it could be a look. But since I do want to put that ruffled collar on here, that's not really going to work. I'm going to have to completely redo this, unfortunately. So stand by while I just quickly make another one. I'll be right back. All right, I finished making the second one and this definitely came out a little bit better. I don't know, maybe this specific Build-A-Bear just has a short neck because I still feel like it's a little high up, but it's okay. We're going to make that ruffle anyway, so we'll just leave it. We're going to make the skirt as well, so I'm going to get started on that. I still have to weave in all the ends. It's my least favorite part, but I'm just going to save that to the very very, very end. Actually, no, I don't work on the skirt yet. I need to make the hearts for the sweater, so I'm very excited for that. Voice over Raven here, just popping in while I make this cutie little heart because I want to complain and rant, okay, if that's fine with you. This yarn that I'm using, this dark pink yarn, is called Karen Simply Soft, okay, and it sucks. It, I am so sorry if you like this yarn, but it sucks. I hate this yarn. I don't know why I bought it all those years and years ago. I just, I hate how it works up. I hate how it looks. I hate how it feels. It is so terrible and I hate this yarn so much. I guess that's why I still have it all these years later because I just haven't used it, but it is so terrible. I just don't like it at all. It looks shiny. It looks plasticky. It does not like feel soft. Like it, you can get a drape with it, sure, but you got to use like a big hook and everything like that. I just have never liked this yarn. Again, do not know why it's in my possession. Maybe somebody gave it to me. I don't know, but I just really, really don't like this yarn. So I'm glad that I was able to use up a tiny portion of it, but we've, we've got to think of something else to get rid of this stuff, you know, because I don't want to let any yarn go to waste, you know, don't get me wrong, but don't like this yarn. So anyways, just had to rant about that. <laughs> These are the sacrifices that I make, okay? These are the sacrifices that I make for you and this content. I just finished the big heart for the center of the sweater and I think it came out so cute. I think it's gonna be perfect. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Honestly, even that's cute. Just having like one heart in the middle. I think I'm done for the night. It's 2.45 a.m. and I'm sleepy. So I'll see you tomorrow to continue working on this. It's the next day and we left off yesterday with just the sweater and then I just made the big heart 
and two of these small little hearts i mean as you as you saw decided to actually do my makeup as well um, my hair is still a little tiny bit wet from my shower so if it looks like greasy it's not it's just wet but anyways let's get started i think i'm gonna do the skirt first and then i'm gonna sew everything together and kind of do like the final finishing touches on my concept sketch whatever paint doodle i have the skirt as being like mostly dark pink with some of the light pink stripes i don't know if i want to do the stripes i don't know i'm gonna kind of feel it out as i go i guess maybe i do want to do the stripes because i don't know about making it only in this yarn i probably talked about it in the voiceover to this video but i just do not like this yarn i guess i'll try to do the stripes maybe that'll probably be better but let's get into it we're gonna start off with a very long chain now that i've got 50 chains we're just gonna make this into a circle and try not to twist it while we're doing that which is like the trickiest part and also if you're into foundation chains i do those sometimes you can totally do those i don't know why i didn't decide to do it <laughs> i just i'm just not doing it <laughs> so then after that we're gonna join and we're gonna do just a double crochet all around including in the same stitch as the join I'm working on the second row right now, but I feel like it's kind of getting dark, so I'm gonna turn on at least my back lights. Oh no, I think I need the front one too. Okay, yeah, I think that's better. Sorry. Anyways, working on the second round, and I think I'm really liking it with the pink. I think it looks really cute, or with the lighter pink. Um, so I'm glad I'm deciding to do that, and it'll just give me a break from working with ugh, the Karen Simply Soft. <laughs> it just does not feel nice on my hands at all. It's so just like plasticky feeling and it hurts like my index finger because i hold my yarn for like my tension like this so it's in this little crevice and i swear it like rubs my little finger crevice raw this yarn <laughs> not the light pink the the dark pink obviously i'm only gonna put two stripes of the light pink i mean the mini skirt is very very small this is the template that i made before it's very small it's pretty much like a micro skirt there's only a few rounds so i'm only gonna include two stripes of the light pink but it'll be good it'll be good so almost done here just got this little bit left i'm getting to the color change now and this is what it looks like in the back um, I'm just carrying my yarn. I'm not cutting it off just to make it easier. So just pulling through with the dark pink and now we're going in with that. So I'll get to that and I'll check back in once, you know what, honestly, once I finish the skirt because <laughs> it's so short, it'll be, it'll be so quick. Guess what? I just finished the skirt and look at how cute it came out. I love it. Okay. I'm so glad I decided to do the stripes because I was so tempted to not do them, but I'm glad I did. Okay. So let's go ahead and try it on i made sure that it fit like when i did the first two rows i did try it on just to make sure that the sizing was good and it was but i have not put it on after i fully finished it oh my goodness <laughs> it's so cute oh my goodness i think it'll look even better because it looks a little funky now because of the random dark pink but once i put the hearts on it'll like look more cohesive i think um this is this is very mini actually let me pull this down <laughs> miss girl's got everything hanging out with this skirt <laughs> okay i think that's better because yeah this is supposed to be cropped so we're supposed to see a little of that purple belly so there we go that's super cute okay let me work on the top next i just need to make a few more hearts i don't know i'm kind of tempted to just only do this one heart i'm gonna sew this one on first and see what i think Okay, there's the heart. It looks super cute. I forgot about the ruffle. Just realized I forgot about the collared ruffle or the ruffled collar. Sorry. So let's go find a yarn to do that with. I have one in mind, but I don't remember if I still even have that yarn. So let's go see. It's like a neutral white cream yarn, but it has like little flecks of other colors on it. Well, here's just like a plain white. Uh, I don't remember if I have it. I'm gonna have to dig through all of this. 
Give me one second. Okay, I found it, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm kind of second guessing it. I feel like it just doesn't really go with the shirt. I don't know. I could just do the ruffled collar in the same pink as the shirt or in the, the dark pink just to have, like tie it all together. I'm kind of thinking the dark pink. And if I do that, I think I will not actually include the little hearts, but I have another idea for them, which I'm gonna try to do. So yeah, let me work on that ruffle first, see how I like it in the dark pink, and we'll go from there. I got kind of carried away and I kind of just completely finished it. So are you ready? Are you ready? I don't think you are. Presenting Miss Costco Pizza in her beautiful, beautiful Valentine's Day glory. I finished the collar. It came out pretty cute. I actually really liked how it looks, you know, like complimenting the ruffle on the bottom. It is covering the heart a little bit, which I did not account for. So unfortunately <laughs> that was not in my plans, but if you just kind of of, you know kind of just shove it it's it's kind of fine a little bit so here's a little overview and then with the extra hearts i decided to give her a little anklet i thought that would be really cute i wanted to give her earrings but she doesn't have ears so <laughs> anklet it is and then on the back i did some stuff but it's real messy back here do not look too closely at it but i decided to sew up the back um, it's just very like easy to take out also. I just have to undo that bow and just pull them out But then we have a little heart at the bottom, which is really cute. So I thought that was really cute Sorry, just adjusting the skirt, you know, it, it's cute. I tried to do like a cinch little lace back I it's very messy and I don't know what's up with the collar. I tried to fix it, but yeah <laughs> Anyways, there she is. I love her I love her so much. It came out so cute. I love this little outfit. It's adorable. I'm glad I didn't end up using all of the little hearts on the sweater because I just think it would have been too much. Like, there's already a lot going on, so I'm glad that we just stuck with the plain heart, even though you can barely tell it's a heart. You have to look under like this. <laughs> the micro skirt is very micro. Um, it mostly works when she sits. Like, it looks nice when she sits, which she will be like 90% of the time on my shelf. So it doesn't matter that when she stands up, you can see everything. She, she's got everything hanging out. It's fine. She, it's okay. She'll be sitting. She'll be decent for the majority of the time, okay? But I just love it so much. I love all the little details and everything we did together. So thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you liked this video. It was really fun just to like do a crochet project again. I love doing little projects for videos and I hope you liked it because I'm going to be doing more. I'm going to try to do an outfit for every single build bear that I have. So stick around if you enjoyed this and if you want to see all the rest of the outfits for my other build bears comment down below which one should I do next. I have quite a few as you saw, so comment which one you want to see next. Who knows? I might do that one next. But from me and Costco Pizza, thank you again for watching this video. And if you do like pizza from Costco, subscribe to the channel. Or if you like crocheting, either one. And if you like neither of them, like this video. Just do it. Thank you so much again for watching and we will see you in the next one.